Welcome cuties, let's create! Today I'm going to be painting these little blocks that I have gotten. Um, not the hearts because those are for a different thing, but I have sunglasses, I have a bunny that I don't like and a carrot I don't like, so I'm going to redo those. I do have two of the same. They're cauldrons, and I don't, I think they're technically supposed to be for, um, St. Patrick's Day, but I also wanted to use one for Halloween. So where I got these is there is this store in Utah, and I'll leave a link in the description. I think they also ship to places in the U.S., if I am correct. I may be wrong, but... They have these blank wooden decorations for the house and you get to take them home and you get to either paint them or you can modge podge scrapbook paper um, and I am slightly obsessed and I'm really sad that I'm no longer in Utah because I liked <laughs> that store a lot but I mean maybe it's a good thing because then I won't spend a billion dollars there. Anyway, so I am painting this carrot and because I didn't like the way that it looked and so I was repainting it, also painting the pumpkins and the apple and eventually I will repaint the bunny as well. It's just your regular craft paint, nothing special. Um, I don't always like to use craft paint when painting like an actual painting because they're too runny to me where I like using more of thicker acrylics um, for painting because they're thicker but anyway that's besides the point so here I am going with the back of a paintbrush and I'm going to dot on green and purple dots as like the bubbly cauldron part by the way, I'm so sorry if you hear a lot of bells ringing because my cat keeps playing with a toy. Um, anyway, so I am sorry that this video is kind of all over the place. I didn't really like focus on just like, I'm just gonna paint three of these. I painted like a bunch and it was over the course of a couple days. <laughs> because letting the paint to dry and then also trying to figure out what I wanted to do for it to look like, waiting for the paint to dry again, and then eventually I do seal all of them with Mod Podge. So, and while I paint, I watch a lot of Netflix or YouTube. So that's, that's what I'm doing um, while I'm painting for hours even though this doesn't seem like I'm painting for hours, but I seriously sit at my desk all day and paint. I also apologize for the messy desk that I have. I'm still in chaos. So I mixed a little bit of black with the green to make a dark, dark green. And then I eventually also mix the purple with the black to make a darker purple. But I don't mix too much black so that way you can still see that it's green. And if you notice my cup, I have something weird in it. And it's actually supposed to be a makeup brush cleaner. But... I don't really wear a whole lot of makeup and so I was like I'm gonna get this for my paint brushes and then I'm like it's kind of long so it's supposed to sit in a sink but I'm like what am I supposed to do while I'm you know while I'm painting to really clean the brushes and so I just shoved it in the in the cup and it works actually really well um, so here I am going with the dark purple and doing dots and it was just really time consuming and trying to figure out you know I didn't want a whole lot of colors like I didn't want too light green 
dots to overlap because then it would just be the massive blob where I, you know, here it is. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to suffer through seeing the whole thing of me doing it, but it was, it was just a lot of work of figuring out. I ended up getting a couple more greens that I have and doing it that way. So, and then here I Mod Podge. I also had a pencil that I just added dots to the eraser and stripes onto the thing. And then I Mod Podged it. Um, here I was like, I, I didn't want everything to look like realistic. I wanted it to be cute or, you know, instead of just putting on scrapbook paper, I wanted to paint, you know, designs. So that's why the bat has stripes. That's why you're later going to see that different things have different colors. Um, I painted the bunny a lot because it was a dark brown and trying to get it white, I still did not finish that one because I don't know what I want it to look like. So it took a while. But the one with the yellow and the dark green, that's my St. Patrick's Day cauldron. And then I also have this cute little ice cream cone that I'm doing. And I was like, I don't have a whole lot of pink. <laughs> and so I wanted to paint it pink. So that's why it's strawberry. And I like the color of the, I just added like a dark brown and white to make the lighter brown for the cone. And I'm not going to lie, it was really hard to figure out different colors and what I want them to look like. And here for the uh, sunglasses, I was like, oh, I'll make it look realistic. And then I was like, no, I don't like that. And then I was like, I'll just put polka dots on it. And I was like, I don't like that either. So that's what I ended up doing. Here is the blocks that the little tiny shapes they go on. You're technically supposed to glue them on and I decided because I don't want a billion blocks so I'm painting them just these colors that will go well in my house and I have little tiny magnets that I'm gonna put on my blocks and on the back of my shapes so that way I can switch them out which that was kind of difficult because the magnets are so strong and while I was interchanging to make sure that they went on correctly, they popped off. But I really like the way that all of them turned out. I still have a couple more to paint, but it was really fun and also time consuming, but I really hope you liked it. Um, again, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like, and a comment.